Samuel Alito is facing calls to recuse himself. This comes after the New York Times published a photo outside Alito's home of an upside down American flag that's widely viewed as a symbol of efforts to overturn the last election. Everything that guy just says, bull. My wife's always squabbling with the neighbors, too. I mean, her squabbles don't usually end with her raising the flag of insurrection against the United States, but... Come on, don't bullshit me. Justice Samuel Alito didn't just fly an upside-down flag outside his Virginia home. He also proudly displayed a flag that has become a symbol of Christian nationalism. This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. Another provocative flag was flown at another Alito home. Shut up! Shut up. Unreal. Here we go again. Welcome back to another desperate Democrat bombardment of gaslighting against the American public. As I talk about a lot here, the Democrat Party is trying to take over literally every institution and solidify permanent control in a one-party state where their opposition has essentially been outlawed. They currently have control of most of our institutions, the media, academia, the military, the justice system. What they currently don't have is the Supreme Court, which they desperately, desperately want. And this latest stunt proves it, as they've targeted Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito, who was nominated by George W. Bush, although they're trying to make people think it was Trump. He committed the apparent high crime of flying an upside down American flag at his house one time years ago. As far as I always knew, that was a sign of distress, and I'd seen it many, many times during both the Bush years and again after Trump won. But according to the media, this is now known as an insurrection flag, because a a couple people carried them on January 6th. Weird how they're all saying the exact same thing as if this was always a well-known fact. Samuel Alito is facing calls to recuse himself. This comes after the New York Times published a photo outside Alito's home of an upside down American flag that's widely viewed as a symbol of efforts to overturn the last election. Upside down American flag that's widely viewed as a symbol of efforts to overturn the last election. But if you go back and actually search for any reference to this this insurrection flag before they started this scheme, you won't find any. In fact, there's a CNN article that lays out all the supposed symbols of the far right on January 6th, which includes literally every historic American flag of patriots. But again, no reference whatsoever to this insurrection flag. Surprise, it's literally something they just made up. Meanwhile, a left-leaning website calling for true patriotism by urging Americans to fly the flag upside down. An army veteran using the American flag as a form of protest. He's been persecuted in the neighborhood for his religious beliefs. He says the display was not meant to show disrespect to the flag, but rather a distress signal. Flag controversy is unfurling the day after the presidential election. You can see this McDonald's flew the flag today upside down at half staff this morning. Now, traditionally, an upside down flag is a symbol of distress. In fact, the Washington Post already knew about this flag hanging up at Alito's back when it happened and passed on the story, admitting at the time that it was his wife who hung it and it had nothing to do with politics. It seems the Democrat state media wasn't gaining any traction with this fake story, so they just trotted out another bombshell scandal that again involves a sinister flag at Alito's home. This time, it's the dreaded appeal to heaven flag that was commissioned, of course, by the white slave owner, George Washington. Commissioned by Commander in Chief George Washington as part of the Revolutionary War, it flew over the Massachusetts Navy. It's a quote from the philosopher John Locke. And the idea is when we human beings have exhausted all of our appeals to unjust governments, in the end, we make an appeal to heaven. Of course, this flag flies in all kinds of places, like San Francisco City Hall, and of course, BLM rallies, which I'm sure was completely different. But the far left state media has now decided that it's bad, as an excuse to somehow get Alito censured or kicked off the January 6th decision that is forthcoming. I think another goal here is to actually attack the institution, something that if you do it is an attack on democracy, 
look totally different when they do it. If the Supreme Court decides in favor of the January Sixers, the media will say it's a sign that the Supreme Court is corrupt and no longer legitimate. And they'll say that it needs to be expanded so that Democrats can get control. Then Democrats and the left will control literally every institution. Just read some of these completely insane headlines from supposed journalists and news outlets. From the San Francisco Chronicle, passers-by in San Francisco's Jackson Square neighborhood spotted a brazen symbol this week, an appeal to heaven flag on a rooftop resembling banners carried by January 6 rioters and the one flown at the Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito's beach house. From the far left slate, Alito's second flag has an even scarier story than the first. And I just love what it says down here on the byline. It's associated with January 6, but there's more to it than that. Nobody ever associated this flag with January 6 until the media all started repeating this talking point a couple weeks ago. From CBS News, calls are growing for the Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito to recuse himself from cases that involve the January 6 attack on the Capitol. After photos surfaced of flags linked to the insurrection being flown at two homes owned by Alito. I respectfully disagree. One, there was no attack. Two, there was no insurrection. And three, none of these flags are insurrection flags. They are literally historic American flags. And how many people were actually at January 6 with these flags? I looked through several large pictures and couldn't find one. Appeal to heaven flag isn't a casual I support Trump thing like the red hat. This is Waco level, Timothy McVeigh extreme. You have to be deep into the MAGA to know what this flag means, much less where to buy it and where to fly it over your house. The Supreme Court is a terrorist organization. Stupid! You're so stupid! You know what other flag a lot of people had on January 6th? The American flag. I'd say that the media is gearing up to start demonizing the American flag, but we're way past that. The Democrat state media has already declared the American flag to be a symbol of racism. And yes, Donald Trump in January 6th. And I was really disturbed. I saw, you know, dozens and dozens of pickup trucks with, uh, you know, uh, explicatives against Joe Biden uh, on the back of them, yep. uh, Trump yep. flags. And some cases, just dozens of American flags, which, you know, uh, is also just disturbing. This isn't the first time this Betsy Ross flag has been at the center of controversy, right? At a high school in Michigan, where some of the students showed up waving this flag, and then the superintendent apologizing to families later, saying that this flag had become a symbol of hate. The flag is a piece of cloth and nobody fights for a piece of cloth. Talking about. Okay, symbol of your uh, country. So the symbol of your country uh, uh, is racist. Boyfriend many years ago, uh, he was my first boyfriend who had his own house. And one day I went outside to see what he was doing and he was uh, hoisting an American flag up the flagpole in his front yard. And I instantly felt very weird. Uh, it didn't make sense, but I felt this feeling of like, um, I felt scared. Yeah, I felt scared. I also remember very well when recently when I was with my children in North Carolina in the Outer Banks with people in pickup trucks with Confederate flags flying alongside the US flag. And that scared me. Now, we should probably all consider that these are the people usually burning American flags, but also flying communist flags, not to mention Ukraine, Israel, and a variety of other far left cult flags that seem to have actually invaded our country. You don't hate the media enough. Right now, they're rewriting history to demonize actual patriots as the enemy and themselves, the communists, as the good guys. What do you all think? Is this latest big lie campaign going to succeed or will people see through it? Let me know in the comments and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post regularly, so make sure to keep checking back for more.